morning everyone welcome back to the vlog channel day two in new york we are in our uber right now heading from our hotel last night to our hotel for tonight typically on a new york day i just stay in one place but since steven and i came early we had our own hotel that we were able to get for cheap on hotels.com and then since we're staying with my dad for the next two nights we're just going over to his hotel that has worked booked so it's actually a little bit better of a location it's right in times square so it'll be kind of nice to have like two different environments that we stayed in it's about 11 a.m right now so we probably won't actually be able to check in but we will be able to drop off our luggage so that we are free for the day what the heck we got into our new hotel room so early it's literally like 11 30 and our room was already ready which we did not expect at all we thought we were going to be dropping our luggage but we got our room say yay babe yay <laughs> so we are just going to kind of hang out here for a minute get everything settled and then head out for some brunch before we start our day also uh if you're not keeping tabs on uh, every moment of my life today is the day i'm seeing darren and hannah oh my gosh i'm so excited oh my gosh i can't believe it i'm freaking out i'm so excited so that's the thing that's happening tonight today i think we're gonna go to a museum get some brunch hang out my favorite part about this room is that we can literally see people working in their office while we're like dancing around in the hotel room we see a little susie walking around to the printers a little joe on his laptop <laughs> No, we can literally see into people's cubicles. That's, that's a little weird. This is exciting. I'm going to stare at them all day. We just got some lunch, walked through Times Square, and now we are going to head to Theater Circle, my favorite little Broadway merch shop. We were planning on going there tomorrow after Kinky Boots, but it's going to be cold and late, and we're right next to it now. So we're like, before we go to the museum, let's just go ahead and go to the Theater Circle store, get all my merch. Steven was making fun of me, calling me a fraud because I'm getting Dear Evan Hansen merch before I actually see the show, but judge me for it. I'm excited. There it is the best selection of Broadway merch if you're in New York, in my opinion. There's a few shops, but this one is my favorite. Faye's already inside. Kind of want to get this little zip up Dear Evan Hansen hoodie, but not sure. Maybe they'll have more merch tonight. And they have a whole back section that's just all play scripts and stuff. So I'm going to get a few scripts today. Don't know what yet. Steven's browsing through the sale vintage Broadway t-shirts for me. So I didn't end up getting any actual merch at Theater Circle, but I did get two play librettos. Well, I guess they're musical librettos because this is a musical. And it turns out, I guess, Hamilton actually has their own merch store now, which wasn't the case last year when I came. So they don't sell that much merch at like Theater Circle or One Shaver Alley because they have enough demand, I guess, that they can, you know, own their own merch store. And I have this specific beanie that I want. So Steven's being a good sport. We're going to go over there, look for the Hamilton beanie I want. And then we might actually go to the Playbill store too. So he's, he's being a good good sport about all the Broadway shopping. Steven convinced me to wait and buy my Dear Evan Hansen merch until the show tonight. That way, you know, it's kind of fun. I get it at the theater. I'm supporting the show more. And then if for some reason they don't have the jacket that I want, I'll just come back here and get it tomorrow. There it is. The Hamilton merch store. Oh my gosh. They have literally everything you could ever want for merch. I have that shirt. I found my beanie, but now I can't decide if I want the dot ham or the logo. Steven says logo, but he also doesn't know the show. And I think that's really cool. So I don't know. I've never seen so much merch for one show and look at the dressing room door. Oh my gosh. I think this store's pure existence just goes to show the scope of Hamilton's popularity. It's insane. I'm so glad I got to see it last time I was here. That was the coolest thing I've ever done, honestly. We could get Hamilton clothes for our future children. <laughs> I'm sure the show will still be popular then. Look at his little baby onesie. Oh my gosh. Could easily spend my entire life savings in this store. Not, not even kidding at all. Steven said they have shot glasses that say I'm not throwing away my shot and I'm so about that. Oh my gosh, they have the Hamilton mixtape on an actual mixtape, AKA a cassette. I know Steven, that's what it's actually called. They have the whole thing on vinyl. Ugh, but it's like literally a hundred dollars. I can't justify that, but ugh. Even the exit sign is Hamiltonified. I love this. I love this so much. That Hamilton store was amazing. Oh my gosh. I've never seen a merch store for just one show. That was so cool. I literally wanted everything there, but I'll show you guys everything I actually got when I go back to the hotel. I didn't actually end up getting a shirt because I already have two shirts. I have the one that says, just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And then I have the little like crop top type like woman's fit shirt with the silhouette of the Skylar sisters. So I think I have enough shirts. <laughs> We're stopping back at the hotel real quick for a little rest since the Hamilton store was right next to it. Uh, what was your opinion oh on the gosh. Hamilton store? Sierra was so much in the store. She'd <laughs> run around screaming everything. She saw like, ah! I would be like casually walking around. She'd be like, oh, this is 
cool. And then Sierra would like run all over the store like, Steven! I'd go over there and she'd run across the other side of the store, Steven! <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. It was so cool if you guys are a Hamilton fan and you go to New York, you have to go to that store. Even if you don't buy anything, it's just cool. Like it's just a cool experience. There's lots of cool stuff. I was wide-eyed the entire time, just looking. I had crazy eyes in that store, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, you had legit crazy eyes. I was like, uh, the whole time. Oh. <laughs> and we're not even seeing yeah. Hamilton here. So we are going to head over to the Museum of New York. We were thinking of doing the Metropolitan Museum of Art, but in the end we decided to do the New York City history because it'll be fun to like learn more about the city. And I really like local history. I think if you guys watched the honeymoon vlogs, you heard me talk about how much I like local history because I wanted to go to the Kauai Museum. So we're gonna do that, maybe walk through Central Park again since it's right next to it. And then uh, it's about one o'clock right now. So only six more hours till Dear Evan Hansen. This entire vlog today is basically just me nerding out about Broadway and I'm not sorry for it. <laughs> Sierra's getting some stuff done on her laptop and she's like, I don't know, at first I thought she was just being dorky, but then she's getting all weirdly emotional about her play tonight. It's not a play, it's a musical. <laughs> and yes, I started tearing up thinking about it because <laughs> all I do is listen to the Dear Evan Hansen soundtrack and I'm finally gonna get to hear Ben Platt belt waving through a window. But anyways, while, while she's been working, I was like, I'm gonna play a prank on her. So I was trying to like make a fake news headline. I was gonna make a new, fake news headline like that. <laughs> But, I don't know, I didn't have time to perfect it because once she started getting a little emotional, I was like, oof, bad call, I can't what do that. What does it even say? Well, Breaking news, Dear Evan Hansen canceled issues with fire sprinklers cause flooding. This is like actually real looking. You are it's the not biggest jerk. I needed to say Dear Evan Hansen close and then issues with sprinklers cause flooding. Like the fire sprinklers. I, I was trying to word it, I was trying to like look at it, I was trying to do some research and see how other people said it. Oh my, I can't believe you were gonna do that. I was crying before you did that, just out of excitement. Imagine if you convinced me. And I would have fallen for it because I'm so gullible. That's why I did it. Steven just directed us on the subway over to the Museum of New York. Hey, wait, what's that say up there? Museum of New York? Yeah, that means I got us there. Yeah, you did. We left the hotel and we just kind of started walking because it said it was in Central Park. We're like, Central Park's only like a mile, we'll walk. I pull it up on my phone, it's literally like four miles away. We both look at each other, we're like, Let's take the subway. We haven't done that yet. So well, you wanted Uber and I. I did. And I had a blast. Yeah, Steven, Steven's big on the trains. I'm, I'm. I gotta find out a way to convince her to do it again on the way back. Yeah, I'm like, let's Uber on the way home. He's like, but it takes the same amount of time for the train. This actually looks really cool. We have made it back to the room. Sierra is in a rush to get out of here. We took our time getting back, and now Sierra is stressing out trying to get dinner and her show in tonight. Took the subway like Stephen wanted. Took a little bit of extra time, but not too much compared to the oh, Uber. I think it took faster. Nah. We don't have anything to compare it against, but I still argue that it went faster. Anyways, we had a lot of fun. During the museum, Sierra opted to stay a little bit longer and get a smaller dinner. But then when we got back, Sierra was contemplating this like, wait, it's not worth it. Like part of the experience is like going out to a nice dinner before. So now we're gonna go to a, a you know, not a nice dinner. We're gonna go to a sit down, sit -down dinner. dinner. And Sierra had about, I'd say an hour until she needs to get in line. Yeah, the theater is about two blocks away from our hotel. So it's really close. The restaurant is a block away from our hotel. So my dad's gonna be here in probably 10 minutes. His flight just landed. So we'll hand yeah. off the keys to him, go to dinner. I'm really, really excited. All right, but we gotta, talk, get going. So excited. we gotta okay. get going. I gotta get ready. We just finished up dinner. What do you think of it? It was actually really good for a last minute find. It was very good. I and know. they gave us free little cookies at the end, <laughs> which made me very, very happy. I always feel bad when we vlog together because I always point it at myself and <laughs> I cut you off because you're so much taller yeah. than me. All right, you have a show to run to. I know, it's 6.30, so they just opened the line. I'm about to hop in line. Literally perfect timing. Couldn't have worked out better. Yep, and then I'm already off to work time. So. Yes, Steven's gonna work in the hotel. I'm gonna see. Dear Heaven Hansen, right. and cry a lot and be excited. I love you. I love you. I'll Have send fun. you pics. <laughs> Bye. Right. Love you. Thanks for walking into yep. the theater. Bye. I'll uh, share my location so you know I don't get kidnapped. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Here it is, my ticket. There's the line. There's the theater. I am so ready for this. Hi. Right. Hello, up the stairs. Usher's up there are gonna help you. Right Thank through. you. There is the stage. I'm in my seat, ready to go, 20 minutes before. All right, it is 6.59. The show starts at seven, so curtain's gonna be in any minute. I'm literally freaking out. I'm so excited. I'll check in with you guys after the show at the stage door. Oh my gosh, I'm literally freaking out internally right now. <laughs> You're wonderful. <laughs> I love really well. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Cheers. Hi, thank you so much. I'll pass them in for you. Amazing. Hi, thank you so much. Wow, that's so hard. Thank you. <laughs>
Well, that I guess is everyone that's coming out today. But yeah, it was so nice to meet everyone. Have a great night. I made stage door friends. Well, that's it for tonight. I made some stage door friends. I got to meet two of the cast members. Steven came and hung out with me. Thanks, hon, for meeting yeah, me for stage fun. door. I know. I'm a little bit bummed that we don't get to meet the rest of the cast, but honestly, like, I totally understand. This is like an emotionally exhausting performance. I can't even imagine doing that eight shows a week. So I'm just so happy with the show. I'll talk about it more when we get back to the hotel because right now I'm still like emotional and there's like a lot of people. So let's head back to the hotel. I think we're gonna get a snack and just, oh, I wanna take a picture with the marquee and just soak up this experience. It was amazing. Hey guys, real quick before I continue with the rest of the vlog, Sierra from the future here. I have decided to give away one of my signed Dear Evan Hansen playbills. All the information is gonna be in tomorrow's vlog. So if you wanna have a chance to win this playbill, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel following my Instagram and you can stay up to date with all the ways that you can win. Now back into the vlog. Steven and I stopped for a little drink at the bar right next to our hotel. We tried Manhattan. Manhattan's. I thought it was gonna be like a fun like fruity drink, but what was it, hun? I mean, it was a rum drink with cherry, which I knew, but Sierra did not know I had cherry. It, it tasted, tasted like cough cherry. syrup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are back in the hotel, just getting ready for bed, and I wanted to share some of my thoughts about Dear Evan Hansen with you guys before I go to bed, before, you know, everything kind of gets muffled and I have those thoughts like super, super fresh in my head. I absolutely loved it. Let me just say that first and foremost. If you have the opportunity to see this show, I highly, highly recommend it. I was very invested in the show from the start, obviously, because I've been listening to this Broadway cast album for a long time. I say a long time, but it's only been out for like a year. I've been listening to it for like eight months, so. But, you know, for a while, like nonstop, like everything I do, I put on the Dear Evan Hansen soundtrack. Driving in the car, Dear Evan Hansen. Doing dishes, Dear Evan Hansen. Doing my hair, Dear Evan Hansen. So I was very invested in the show from the beginning. When the like prelude started playing, I already was cheering up because I was just so excited about the show and it did not disappoint. Let me just say, Ben Platt's voice and specifically his belt is even better than in the cast recording. He is a phenomenally talented actor. His voice was amazing. The rest of the cast in the supporting roles were just so, so strong. And I was lucky enough to see the original Broadway cast, which is something I'm gonna keep with me forever. And I just, I think that is amazing. The show is funny, it's moving, it's emotional, it's raw, it's real. It is so freaking good, oh my gosh. And I'm just really glad I had the opportunity to see it. I was talking to a guy next to me at the stage door and I don't know why his story just like really moved me. He said that since he was two years old, his parents have been telling him to save for something and he never knew what, like a car or college or whatever, he never knew what, but he was always saving for something. And he heard the Dear Evan Hansen soundtrack and he said, that's it. He was from California, he only lives like a few hours from me. He bought a plane ticket, booked a hotel and bought front row tickets for Dear Evan Hansen. So this was like, his thing, the thing that he'd been saving for, and I don't know why, just musical theater is powerful. Theater is powerful, and it's so cool that like so many people around the world feel that too, because I am such a theater nerd, and like I have theater friends, but the majority of my friends are not theater people, so I always feel kind of like the odd one out, you know, when I go to a show, and I'm at the stage door, and whether it's Steven, or my dad, or one of my friends who I'm with, like, they're always kind of hanging in the back, you know, they're not as into it, and so getting to just be around theater people like that, and be in the audience of an original Broadway cast of a show that I love. It's a really powerful experience for me and like it makes me emotional genuinely like just talking about it. Like not only the show and the actors and the music but also just like the community that surrounds musical theater. It's amazing and if you have never seen live theater I highly recommend it whether it is a community production near you, a Broadway show, a touring cast. See some live theater because it's amazing and the community is just wonderful and I'm so grateful that I got to see this show and be a part of the audience and I'm so grateful that I get to be part of this theater community. So let me just step off my soapbox now, put on my PJs and go to bed. I'm gonna show you guys all the Broadway merch I got in the next vlog. It's just getting a little late and I'm talking a little loud and Steven and my dad are trying to sleep. So I'm gonna go to bed. Love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.